This is an Allegheny County official citation. The Board of County Commissioners of Allegheny County publicly recognizes, sincerely congratulates, and highly commends Ty Johnson, Allegheny County native, National Football League sixth round draft pick by the Detroit Lions. As a Fort Hill High School, Ty Johnson played both two state football championship teams. The University of Maryland, Ty Johnson's career statistics as a running back were 206,035 yards, 17 touchdowns, two receiving touchdowns, and two kickoff returns for touchdowns. Today, we join all the citizens of Allegheny County in expressing our pride in Ty Johnson, an extra, extraordinary representative of the county for his academic and athletic success on this day in Cumberland, Maryland, presented by the Board of Commissioners, May 6, 2019, signed by myself, Commissioner Jake Shade, and Commissioner Creed Brody. Thank you. Um, this is tough. But it's, if I cry, it's going to be a super happy cry. Um, I have a coffee mug. I'm not, I'm not drinking coffee. I just have something to say about this here in a second. First of all, I'd like to thank the, the Mayor Ray Morris and the City of Cumberland for putting a celebration together. Uh, this recognition of Ty is an uplifting thing, and any time we can do these things in our community, we definitely should. Uh, this is not just a, a celebration of someone who's drafted in the NFL. This is a celebration of a young man who put his faith, hard work, made good decisions, and surrounded himself with the right people to accomplish his goals that he set forth for himself. To me, Ty Johnson is not just a six round draft pick in the 86th draft in the NFL. He's a great young man, a leader, that's a great example on how you can accomplish things no matter what your circumstances. great example for young people, young people in this area, to let them know that they can succeed and do the right things no matter where they come from. It's hard for me to quote Ty's stats because I, I know him more as a person than I do a football player. I have great conversations with him about life and not just football. I know him as a great young man that just happens to have a bigger platform than the rest of us. I have seen Ty do things on the football field that would make any parent proud. Off the football field, I'm sorry, off the football field that would make any parent proud. Giving money, helping kids, visiting people in hospitals, and even giving his old coach advice on things <laughs> that I would not share with other people. <laughs> he has also been a giver and never been a taker, never. He has always made the lives of people around him better and not harder. Um, I got a couple of stories. When he was a freshman at Maryland, we, we won a state championship for a third time and he decided to piggyback on a ride to us at Raven Stadium because we were invited to Raven Stadium as we were honored as state champions on the field. And I'm walking in the stadium and he's in front of me. Actually, Wilbur came with us too that year. Uh, and this lady looks downtrodden and says, you know, you got any money? And of course, I'm like, Ty, you know, I've been there, done that. And he goes, coach, she needs it. So I'm just going to give it to her. Um, and, and that says a lot about his character who wants to give. There's a lot of takers out there that want something for nothing. But Ty's never been like that. He gives instead of takes. Um, just another heartwarming story. You know, I, I was blessed enough to take him to one of his visits to a game. And I, I pick him up on, on Penn Avenue, right there, right by the library. And me and Richie Shook, the assistant coach, we take the University of Maryland and 
and you go to University of Maryland, they're recruiting. They're, they're giving food, breakfast, waffles, all kinds of stuff. And it's the first time I ever learned how to do one of those flip waffle machines. Aww. And they're like, Ty, we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. And then you, you, you're on the sidelines, you got all these passes, and it's all these people in the stadium, and then he's enjoying himself, and it's like a blessing. I'm looking up at Scott going, thank God. And then you drive back into Cumberland with him, and the library that he clipped, you know, the grand opening, it wasn't clipped then. It wasn't the grand opening library that it is today. There's a guy sleeping out by his house underneath. You know that? By the door. And I'm thinking, he has this. Because he's, he gets a chance, an opportunity to do the things and be a platform at the University of Maryland because he's always a giver. He's never a taker. No matter where you come from, you can do what Ty Johnson does. He's a great example. Um, and I opened up the Bible today, looked in Proverbs. Harrison Little and I always talk about Proverbs is the the motivational speaker of the Bible. And this one just jumped out to me. It says, he stores up success for the upright. He is a shield for those who live with integrity. That means just in common sense, good things happen to good people. And good things have happened to Ty Johnson, not just because he's been gifted and blessed with speed, lots of speed, <laughs> but because he does things for other people and he's a good person. Um, yeah. And then the reason I brought the coffee mug, and it'll be the last thing I say, I swear. <laughs> One Christmas he came in and just gave me this mug. And if you see me, um, sorry, if you see me at Fort Hill, I always have this mug. I still have the tag on it. <laughs> and, and, I, and I think he's trying to like say this is kind of what you are coach and I'm, I'm looking at going I don't know use kind words don't whine keep your promises do your best say your prayers please and thank you work hard smile always tell the truth help others love one another try new things be happy be happy and laugh out loud Absolutely. instead of giving that to me I should Give it back to him. We are so fortunate, and I'm going to get off, but we have somebody in our community that's a positive aspect, not just here, but now he gets to go on the national stage and be a positive aspect to others. Uh, so thank you for letting me speak, and thank you for letting me be your coach. Ty Johnson. came up here and what they said, but I uh, just want to also say to Coach Apple, he started out at Fairmont State University where I went, so uh, a little connection there, does a tremendous job. I, I just wanted to come down and uh, be part of this and uh, congratulate Ty and wish him uh, best of luck on uh, what he's going to be going through here in the near future. Uh, been there, done that, got close, played in five exhibition games, made it the last cut. So if you haven't already gotten a tie, you're going to get a playbook that's probably four times bigger than what you had at Maryland. So that's the biggest <laughs> part to getting all that in your head, and I know you'll do that. Also, I want to congratulate you on getting your degree, which is going to carry you. Yeah. You know, you can't play football all your life, uh, but we're going to be watching you on the big tube here in the near future. So your degree is going to be helpful to you when you quit uh, playing football. You know, the delegation, the delegate case here, uh, we've had the opportunity the last several years to uh, welcome the Fort Hill football team to Annapolis. So we get the opportunity to get up on the floor when they come in in front of all the senators or when they're in the house, they come in there. We get to tell them how great they are. And we look to do this again next year, Coach. I'm not gonna put any pressure on you. But Ty, congratulations, yeah. best of luck to you. Yeah. You're an outstanding person, you're a tremendous football player. I've watched you through your career. Yeah. 
and you're a role model now. And a lot of young people are going to be looking up to you. Just one thing, do not forget your roots. Do not forget your roots because they'll take you a long way in life. Congratulations. Best of luck. So I just think it is just so awesome and wonderful that we have a gentleman who loves God, loves this city, and loves the state of Maryland and loves what he's doing. So thank you, Ty. We really appreciate that. You know, I was at that ribbon cutting for the uh, the new library. We were there and all that kind of stuff, and, and I thought they were coming to see me, but that's obviously <laughs> not the case. But I had not intended to be up here, but I had intended to get in line. But I'm going to be selfish. W would you sign my hat, please? <laughs> Nothing personal. This is a real proud moment on my part. So. Yeah.